Hello YouTube. I am presenting you or better a first a question. What can you hide underneath two fingers? Ta-ta. This is the I will call the smallest Pac-Man game console in the world. If you seen any smaller, please let me know. Anyhow, but before I get into this, I want to show you the PCB itself. This time I went for a red PCB. And uh, this one really looks classy. It's red with the Enic. And this came out beautiful. This is based on an ESP. I call it Oledicate by Hyrie. That's me. Uh, sorry, that was my clock. It's one o'clock at night, anyhow. And uh, I went for a real thin PCB this time because this is going to be in a 3D printed case. And this PCB is. one millimeter actually i just thought it's 0.8 but it's one millimeter so this uh one millimeter pcb and uh this is what i made with it as i said it's the pac-man game it has a pac-man on here it has flabby bird breakout and octopus you can adjust the uh, volume with the navigation switch down up you have here is on off button here is a button to upload code if you ever want to change it so it's between upload and run these are the pinouts for the usb adapter I'm using it with of course 3.3 .3 volt and I marked it here so I'm using the 3.3 .3 volt output instead of the 5 volt because as you know ESP modules are not 5 volt tolerant they will die on you anyhow it has a 3.3 .3 volt LDO it has a sh charging circuit for the LiPo Yes, this includes a LiPo, obviously, <clears throat> otherwise you won't be able to play it like it is. Here's the charging LED, micro USB connector, and uh, this is a 0 0.960 LED display. This is the ESP7, it works also with the ESP12. But 7 is enough. I might disable this LED to save a few more milliamps. This is the speaker. This is the reset button and this is the on off switch. And it has a 190 milliamp battery. Some of you might say now uh, this will not last long. But I dis actually disabled the Wi-Fi on this chip. And now it uh, takes about 25 milliamps while running. So normally it would take about 80 to 90 milliamps with the Wi-Fi on. So that's disabled. And uh, this little beauty I will show you also. I did design a 3D printed case. And uh, this will go in here. It has uh, beveled edges here. Uh, here also. But I will make a, I will design a small 3D printed uh, joystick to put on here. So it's easier to play and you see the already gate. This is the hole for the LED, but it is so bright. I can show you one second. Just cleaned up my desk for the video and now I have to get the wires up again. Okay, here we go. Sorry for that. Once you plug in, you see the LED and the case will be about this size uh, and if it's an orange as you can see it's plenty bright it will shine through actually I want to make the front panel uh, with a transparent 
ABS, clear, transparent, and the back side in black, silver, or I could do it in green, but I think it's gonna bite each other with the red. So the back will be silver or black. I could make the back also an ABS. Uh, I mean, in uh, transparent, so we'll see about that. Anyhow, that was the charging LED. I might uh, put a bigger resistor on here to dim it out a little bit. It's pretty bright as is. And uh, yes, let me show you the game. That's what you came here for. Okay, Pac-Man, you select it by clicking the middle. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you play with the navigation button. This was a favorite game in the 80s. And uh, believe it or not, I never played it myself on the, the consoles back then were pretty big. So they were like uh, TVs in a cabinet. Anyhow, as you see, it works beautifully and I just died. Anyhow. Uh, this is a startup screen. Let's pick a flappy bird and I won't make it. Oh, for anybody who's interested in uh, the first video I showed uh, this game with the real flappy bird, he is still alive and he will be released real soon. It's still very cold outside, so we're keeping him in the house. And my wife is teaching him flying lessons in the bedroom. Anyhow, I might make a video of that too and uh, show whoever wants to see it. Anyhow, you can select Flappy Bird and you will see how I will crash. Sometimes I... no, <laughs> most of the time I crash right away. So I, I never made it past one level uh, or one score. I don't know if it... see, even worse. Anyhow, let's get back up there, break out. This is a little easier to play, you see the countdown up there. If you catch those, you get a double vamps, <laughs> I don't know how to call that. And now I'm sure you know how to play or what breakout is all about. And now let me show you the fourth game. You can go left or right or left. Doesn't matter. That's Octopus. Uh, not much a fan of this one. You see the divers here and your aim is to go down there, Oop, I died, and uh, get the buried treasure and bring it up. Oops, that was fast. Let me try at least to do it once. Eh, didn't work. Anyhow, this is it guys, I don't want to make the video too long. Uh, this will go of course on sale on Tindy as soon as it gets approved and uh, like I said I will print a case for it. This is of course just the front side. The back side I didn't print out. I should have anyhow. Uh, the cases will be ABS. I don't like to use PLA because uh, Everybody's favorite because it prints easier, but uh, it's not as sturdy as ABS, so I will go with ABS. I might do a few with the orange because it will go with the orange too. Uh, not with this, of course, as seen on the picture. Anyhow, uh, did I miss anything? It has a battery level up there too, so you can see how much you have left. I didn't, uh, well, 20 milli. 190 you can make the math figure out how long it will run it's about 20 25 milliamps tops well this is it so this was my OLED Kate PCB and this really really came out nice 
and I uh, just want to show you really quick my uh, OLED scope PCB and I would love to do it like this but uh, I got the button there and uh, I need the space on the back so it wasn't an option anyhow uh, when finished the OLED scope oops looks like this with the flush display and uh, I will make a separate video on this too of course anyhow this is my new OLED decade and I will also make a case uh, as a keychain with a hole in it or a loop where you can hang it on your keychain for whenever you get bored you can start playing AD's favorite Pac-Man I thought Tetris was my favorite but I guess it's Pac-Man now anyhow Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.